What's up guys? So once more we're going to tear apart the setup today. We already kind of started and we got the microphones and stuff already unhooked. It is hooked up to the desk down here but the cables are managed so I couldn't unhook it all the way. But today we are going to be installing these Wally monitor wall mounts. I got a single and a double. So we're going to wall mount this stuff today. Gain all of our desk space back. And be able to shove this desk like all the way against the wall back there and still have all this space underneath. Um, so we can kind of rearrange some of this stuff. And then we're eventually, I think the next step is going to be to buy a, uh, cause this one's like 30 inch. I don't think I need quite that deep of a desk. What's up, babies? Hi. But, uh, we want to do like a, uh, six foot butcher block top on it. Probably on this frame, since this is an Ikea desk frame, it is still pretty good, pretty wide. So we'll just put a new top on it and be able to go from the edge here all the way to the wall, have a little more room. Then when the revamp happens on the actual dual PC setup, we're going to use two Leon Lee, um, I think they're called the Dynamic Evo something, I don't know. But it's going to be one of, the, one of those cases, I think it's the one you can flip. The Dynamic Evo, I think it's what it's called. And we're going to be able to make this look a little bit better. Now, when the cases get swapped and everything, it'll look really cool because I'll be able to put one on each side of the setup. Maybe. But for now, I want to wall mount the center monitor, I think, right in the middle of this. I know there's like, it's about six feet right here, okay? So... Right about three feet is where that those mounts have to sit for the monitor to be centered. Now you can see I don't have a lot of room with this case. I do need to, however, rewire everything because right now I had it sitting like this and then I tightened all the wires up. So now I can't scoot it into the corner and uh, like make it flush over here. Which I don't know why I did that like that, but this Ethernet cable is quite tight as well. Oh my god. <clears throat> there we go. What the heck is going on there? But yeah, we'll be able to fix all that nonsense. So, tag along and see what we get accomplished tonight. Yay. Gonna be a whole revamp. Gonna have to unhook everything. Oh, cool. And we're gonna hook up our little reset and uh, power switch right here that we ordered. And we're gonna put it somewhere on the desk. And hook each one of these to the power button and power LED of the um, each computer. That way I don't have to reach over and touch them. I just go boop and they're both on. So pretty cool. Little uh, exposed circuit board. Looks pretty cool. Acrylic uh, just etched in. Looks pretty cool. So again, tag along and see where the journey takes us once more of tearing apart the setup and of course my wife's side looks like shit because her computer's downstairs in the garage let's go well this is how what we got so far obviously the desk won't be right there anymore but for now that's fine because that's just like a parts closet anyway i because i need to see if this is going to work with the uh length of the desk stopping here when i replace the top of this um and this sitting in the corner for for now and having the monitors actually go right here or mount them right here. So I don't know because it's six feet exactly from the wall to the door frame. So we're going to have to mount them at three feet. And I don't think that's going to work, but a single case will because, again, they're going into dynamic Evos because I want to have one on one side facing this way with the glass. This side facing that way with the glass, <laughs> or towards me. So, for now, I just want to see if this works. If it does, once we fix the cases situation, then I think we'll be okay. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. We'll show you the final result. I'm pretty much about to start mounting these arms up on the wall and start putting some monitors back on them so I can boot this baby up and uh, start cable managing a little bit and stuff like that. Welcome to the shit show folks, let's go. 
Well now, I think we got it accomplished. <sighs> Same as it was before. And the only thing you're going to be able to really see are the mounts back here. But I'm planning to do the rebuild of the computers. And I'm going to have a PC right here with wires going that way. Um, and the glass probably facing this way. So it'll pretty much be covering up this whole area um, with a PC case right here. Bam. Maybe kind of at a small slight angle. And then same on that side. But sitting here. Bam. It's basically a freaking race simulator at this point. <laughs> but yeah. Now we just got to hook up all the wires, man. And then it should be good to go. It's a lot of work. But at least I have more desk space now. And as you can see. We put the other thing back there, so now the keyboard will be like right here to type. And then you can push it out of the way and play with controller. Um, I don't know, they might be a little bit low, but I mean, they're not any different than they were before. Yep, now we just got to put everything back on the desk and plug it all in. Call it a day. I don't know, maybe we should just do the rest of this shit tomorrow. Go watch some TV. I think that's probably a good idea. First start tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. Come join us tomorrow. On the, in the next video, probably. Let's go.